What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video with uh, Python Plays Grand Theft Auto as well as uh, doing things with the TensorFlow Object Detection API. In the last couple videos what we did was we just used the, uh, the TensorFlow Object API in, Object Detection API rather, in Grand Theft Auto just to show the objects could be detected and then we went ahead and detected other uh, cars, trucks, and buses in the distance and determined whether or not they were too close and within our trajectory basically to where we might actually hit them. In this tutorial and probably one more after this, we're gonna be covering um, more on the Python plays Grand Theft Auto side, uh, side. And if the agent does not have a vehicle, we want to be able to steal a vehicle. So we're gonna use the object uh, detection API to find a vehicle and steal the vehicle. So, well, really find the vehicle. And then the stealing vehicle, we don't really need the object API for that. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, a little more so than the other uh, tutorials, you definitely are gonna need Grand Theft Auto uh, for this, but you could do some other, uh, some other action or something like that, as long as um, you, know, you need to find an object and maybe press a key or press a mouse button or, or whatever. Um, another version of this was I made a, um, basically an aimbot using the, the, uh, the object detection API. So I'm just going to pull that up real quick. Um, I think it's somewhere in here. Yeah. <laughs> so this was just an example. So every time it detected a person, it would just, it would shoot at the, the person. Um, I'm not going to really do a tutorial on this um, for a couple reasons. Um, one is it would be a tutorial, but it basically had to break EULAs of a bunch of games. <laughs> it's, um, especially a few that I can think of that people would use it on. Also, I'm fairly certain that's undetectable. Um, I mean, the, the very quick motions um, are, are definitely detectable, um, but we're not really accessing game files. And so, I mean, the only thing that would be running that the game would see would be, um, you know, Python's running, uh, stuff like that. So I, I'm pretty sure it's undetectable. So I don't really want to give people too much help in uh, creating completely undetectable aimbots for games. So instead, we're just going to steal the car. <clears throat> so um, so the code up to this point um, is everything we've been working on. Um, I'm not really going to change too much, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is just comment out um, this part because uh, we're just not we're not worried about it. We're, we're in theory on what is this? What are you doing to me? Really? I've got tabs messed up. Great. Fantastic. Anyway. Oh, come on. That should do. <clears throat> oh, dear. <laughs> Not that. Okay. So I'm just going to tab out the whole warning thing because in theory, we don't really want that right now. So basically, we're going to still be working in this, this main little chunk of code here, though. So, oh, this is going to be so frustrating. So it's because, um, you know, Google likes to use the, the two spaces for an indentation. I like to use four. <laughs> oh, that's aggravating as hell. Um, I think I can work around it, but that's going to be kind of irritating to say the least. Anyways, um, I'm going to say, uh, so above the four, the, this chunk of code, um, I'm going to add vehicle underscore dict. So the way we're going to steal vehicle is in our eyesight, we're going to, we're going to just look for vehicles. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just try to go towards the closest vehicle. So we already know the, dis the, the, the relative distance of vehicles, not in any sort of metric or, or imperial unit that you know of, but relatively we can, we, can, we can detect distance that we've already calculated. So what I'm gonna do is, just like everything that I'm doing here, um, this is really just something I just kind of threw together because I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could just do this, blah, blah. Um, there's certainly gotta be a better way than what I'm gonna do, especially when we iterate through the dict and all that. But anyway, if you have a better way, sure, share it with us. But the way I'm gonna do it is we've got the approximate distance of every vehicle um, as long as their score is above 50%. So if we're fairly confident it's a car, um, 
then what we want to do is we're going to take the approximate distance and we're going to store that as the key in the vehicle dictionary and then we're going to store the locations of all the vehicles um, with mid x mid y and then i'm also going to store the score just because so um, so that's the plan and then what we can do is just sort the the keys and go with the the closest dictionary or, uh, the the closest car in the dictionary and then with that we can use that to start aiming towards that car so uh, we're going to use the mouse to aim um, and then we can walk around um, with a with a key press so um, so that's the plan we've got vehicle dict um, already in place so the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is um, I'm going to change the approximate distance. I'm going to go ahead and round that to three places. Just because rounding to one, we're probably going to have a lot of conflicting cars, especially as we get closer to cars. Um, going only out to one is going to probably set us up for a lot of instances where there's two cars. And it just because dictionaries, at least right now, we're not using any sort of sorted dict. Um, and also the order that we might be seeing them, uh, you know, from the session and all that could, could flip flop around. Um, so, so, so I'm going to go ahead and go out to three decimal places this time, just so we don't have an instance where we're like, Duh, car, 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 and just going back and forth super fast and losing our minds. So cool. So we'll make that change. And then now what we're going to do is, um, basically just right under that somewhere. What we're going to do is we're going to add that to the vehicle dictionary. So vehicle dict, and then the key is just approximate distance. Um, and then what we're going to say is that is equal to the mid x, mid, mid y, um, and then scores. Scores your i. Um, I have no intention to use scores right now, but I'm just going to do it um, just in case. Because uh, I can I can imagine some scenarios where where you might want to double check the score one more time. Like like maybe for avoiding cars, you want to say it's a 50% car, but then maybe for actually you know choosing something to try to go steal, you want to be a little more certain it's a car. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to throw that in there. So now what we're going to do is, is here we're iterating through all of the boxes. So we don't really want to, um, you know, we want to outside of this loop. Now we address the, the dictionary. Uh, and this is where we're probably going to have a problem. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, you f <laughs> oh, man, really? I thought... Just let me do this. We'll see if we'll get away with this. Um, so now what we're going to say is if the len of our vehicle dict is greater than zero, because we might actually not find any cars, you know, there, there's going to be times when there's no cars. So if there's no cars, then whatever. But if the length of the vehicle dict is uh, greater than zero, then we want to know what the closest car is. So first we're going to say the closest is equal to the sorted vehicle vehicle dict dot keys and then we want um, the zero width so then <clears throat> so that'll give us the the, the closest um, distance the closest relative distance which is also the key of the dictionary therefore the vehicle choice would be vehicle dict of closest with the key of closest rather. Um, and we could print, we could say, you know, we could print out the choice. I'm actually not gonna do that. Um, that'll just be kind of spammy, I think. So now what we're gonna do is we'd, we'd like to, once we know the vehicle, then we wanna be able to, to go to that vehicle. So for example, uh, we don't have it yet. And it's what we're gonna make probably in the next tutorial, but we wanna be able to have some sort of like determine movement function where we're gonna pass probably mid X, um, mid x mid y and um probably some other variables that we'll talk about in the next tutorial um so mid x would be you know vehicle choice so i'm just gonna say mid x equals vehicle choice zero mid y would be uh, vehicle choice one the score would be two um, and so on but anyways i think what we're going to build that that in the next tutorial and then that will hopefully be able to do all that do the mouse movements and actually have the, the finished product 
in the next video. So anyways, um, that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, whatever leading up to this point, uh, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.